On the shore of Oak Bay in British Columbia stands the war memorial to the area's fallen. Reginald and Robert Coventry are among the names, the uncle and father of Anne Underhill. Reginald died in France, Robert sacrificed his life in Gloucester, steering his Bristol Blenheim away from a school in Quedgley after the engines failed. Anne was just a baby, living in Bath with her mother at the time. Being born in the war, it was all part and parcel. This sounds heartless, but I didn't make anything more of it than all the other people who had lost their fathers, mothers, whatever. You know, his career was the Royal Air Force, as was his brother Reggie. This is the crash site back in 1940. Remarkably, two other airmen on board, George Wilcox and Jackie Lane, survived. But Anne's mother received this letter informing her that her husband, Flight Lieutenant Robert Coventry, had died. And it's still a mystery as to why he's buried in Down Hatherley near Gloucester and not near to the family home in Bath. I really don't know. And, no, and nobody knows. There are four graves there. Uh, I think three of them are RAF and one is possibly Navy. Since the story of the crash re-emerged last year, a memorial stone has been commissioned by the town council in Quedgley and will be unveiled near to the crash site at a special ceremony in September. Until we found Anne in Canada, she was unaware that her father's story was being told again and that any of this had been planned. I think it's absolutely extraordinary and wonderful. And my mother must be dancing around up there. <laughs> I sort of, yeah just to get the recognition. It means a lot to me. I think it's an amazing and wonderful thing. Anne hopes to be at the ceremony in September, the guest of honour, to pay tribute to a father she never knew, but who sacrificed his life to save many others. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West.